welcome to another episode of 10 minute cooking. I'm your host Lawrence and today we're going to make you a nice beef spinach blue cheese wrap. So for today's dish I've got the ingredients all in front of me. Uh, we've got some nice tasty blue cheese. Not everybody likes it but it's a yeah, very specific taste that I like very much. Nice and salty. Chopped up. Some nice chopped up and diced uh, half onion rings, red onions, some marinated uh, red cherries, marinated them with some balsamic vinegar, some sweet juicy peaches, marinated also in white balsamic vinegar, some diced and chopped almonds, wraps, torn spinach and beef which I will cook later. Today's ingredients, 250 gram of rump steak, a pinch of salt and pepper, 3 tablespoons of olive oil, 250 grams of fresh spinach, 50 grams of cherries, almonds and blue cheese, 1 red onion, 2 plums, 1 tablespoon white balsamic vinegar and 6 medium sized wraps. So next thing we do is actually one of my favorite part is uh, frying the steak which we do in a nice preheated pan with oil and just uh, some, uh, I use spray and olive oil. Fry about five six minutes, let it sit on the on my cutting board, and by feeling the texture, I know how, uh, how good to go it is because I don't want to get it overcooked. And uh, so, put it in the pan, it's nice and hot. Make sure your pan is very hot, some oil in there, search it, just that, that it search in one go. Testing it by resistance, you can tell yeah, how much is cooked. You don't want it overcooked, with it nice, thick and juicy. And then after that we cut it, we can put it in the wrap. So, uh, important in cooking a steak always is that you don't overcook it because nobody wants to eat uh, yeah, the sole of a shoe which is hard and uh, not tasty. Put it in the pan, sear it so it just sears clean and just crisp on the outside and then let it sit on your cutting board for a little bit so it just can rest a little bit which we say that the meat must come to rest the senses. What I do for this particular wrap because it's going to be pretty red inside I'm going to cut it in small pieces, you see it's nice and tender. Mm. And it looks very juicy. I'm just going to add a little piece. It's going to be delicious if I add all the other ingredients. Yeah, we're okay, waiting there for this wrap. And, uh, yeah, you see all the juices maintained inside, just the outside of the beef is cooked. And the inside still stays rosé. That's the way we like it. So, finishing off the wrap, just putting the blue cheese sauce on the wrap first, smear it out. This will make the spinach stick to the, to the wrap. So you take a, the back hand of a spoon, smear it all out. Just take a nice big hand, some crunchy spinach. You just go along the way. Some marinated plums. Marinated cherries. Take some chopped up onion in the wrap, some, uh, some pieces of the beef, we put in sideways and make it evenly 
spread out over the wrap. A couple of pieces of the blue cheese. So don't be afraid to use your hands. You can eat with your hands once they're clean. Um, oh. So I'll wash my hands in the meantime. The final, the final garnish that we're gonna use, some chopped up almonds, which deliver a little bite on it. And just a little more of the blue cheese sauce. And then special folding technique, put it in the center, fold it in, fold it over, and then at the back there's still a bit of sauce, so you can actually use it as a little bit of glue. And you have a nice dinner wrap. This is my baby. So thank you for watching 10 Minute Cooking again. Hope to see you next time and a special thanks to our sponsor, American Food. Goodbye. Thanks for watching guys. If you've got any ideas for me to cook, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.